Hey guys, here for another video, and it's been a bad day today. As you can tell from the description, OnlyFans has banned me! Oh no! Uh, I probably should have expected this, because if you guys have been watching my recent videos, obviously I troll in the DMs, like, uh, I'm pretty sure, there's like, there's like three messages I'm sure that are potentially ban-worthy. I think one of them, and I, I post some on my Instagram, where I think this girl is like saying, tell me one of your secrets or whatever, like those automated DMs. And I think I said something along the lines of like, oh yeah, my secret is something with like touching children. Or there was another girl that told me, that said, tell me your fetish. And I was like, yeah, my fetish is like slave stuff. Like I'll fuck you, fuck you on top of an auction block type shit. So obviously I'm pressing like the border of that humor. Obviously I'm not racist because, you know, I fucked the black girl before. Obviously everything is done under sarcasm. So only fans can't really detect that. I'm surprised they did moderate that because, again, and, and there's like, this goes way back, probably like three years ago. I was way more active in it, where like child porn was actually allowed in OnlyFans. It's extremely strange. It took forever them to moderate that shit. I remember reporting it to the FBI. There was a lot of shit porn too. OnlyFans back in the day was like the real wild west. Uh, so shout out to moderation. I, you know, I can't really be mad at them uh, for doing that. Obviously, videos will continue. I just won't be doing a video today because I'm trying to get the account back. Or if they ban it, at least give me a refund. Because I think I have like $500 worth of subs. Because what I do is like, okay, I look at the list of OnlyFans that people are requesting. See who's on sale. The ones that are on sale, I'll mass buy. Then kind of like, you know, eventually review them. I do like three a week, four, sometimes on my own. So if I miss a day, cool, I have a video in stock. Sometimes I'm a day behind like today. Uh, so yeah, I'm just going to try to get the account back today. If not, no worries. The videos will continue. I'll just make another account. Uh, if I have to use a VPN, then I would. Uh... It just sucks missing out on that couple hundreds of dollars. And yeah, this month has been like, fuck me in the ass totally up. You know, it just sucks. Like even the college debt is coming back. So, you know, Biden, you know, fuck you, Biden. I mean, I love you, but like the whole college debt thing, I probably should have expected that was going to come back. You know what? Fuck Biden since we're going to do that. I have a whole bunch of caps here. We're going to go back to good old, good old Trump MAGA bitch. Uh, but yeah, then I have to drop like a little over 7k, whatever, it doesn't hurt, but it's just so fucking annoying, it's like, damn, college debt really fucks you in the ass, because it accumulates interest daily, it's one of those things, it's not like a house, where it's like you're paying off the balance and interest, like a part, portion on, uh, to the interest and portion to the uh, principal balance, and with college, it's like interest first, it's like, wow, Congratulations, you just paid off all the interest. Get ready to get to, to, to finally paying the real balance. So I'm just figured I just paid off off the bat because, uh, you know, all that shit. So yeah, bad month for me. Then that amongst other things. But we have to keep it going. Usually what I say is like, hey, is it really affecting me? Is it really affecting my income? Am I still going to make money? I can always make more money. I'm always making more money back. Something I used to do on the side way back in the day and I still want to do it. Uh, it's probably do like bike delivery. You're like, why, Sam? Well, I already bike as, I, I bike every day, like, there's a little, like, circle thing, I don't even know what you call it, like, track, I do 100 laps at least every day, weekends or Friday nights, as you guys know, I bike, I'll bike for, like, five or six hours, so it's like, if I'm already biking, I might as well do some bike delivery, I did it back in the day as, like, a side thing, it's like, oh, cool, I'm working out, I might as well deliver prescriptions, it wasn't food, there's a company called Capsule, I think I said it in my last video, my last vlog, definitely worth checking out if you guys want some extra income, you don't want to be fat, because obviously I'm sitting in my ass the entire day, so if I'm going to be working out, I might as well make money doing that, and it's not like Uber, you actually do get a pretty consistent income, and they're pretty fair with that shit, so yeah, no vid today, probably a little update as well, uh, this is something I like doing for fun, uh, and I'm probably going to make, I already have like three, uh, templates set up for this video uh it's like talking about like hot realtors i always find it entertaining where you have these girls on instagram talking about like yeah i'm a realtor and then they really like realistically they only sell like one shitty property in detroit foreclosed homeless people squatting in there there's like shit walls like not, it's not even gonna be a fixer upper it's like a fix like you buy it for no reason other to buy it. they probably sold it to some simp who's trying to get them out on a date or something I see that a lot on Instagram, and there's three girls specifically, one of them's called Bia, the other one's called like Kia Kleffer or something, another one's some Asian bitch, um, yeah, I, I'll probably show you guys images of it, and I'm just gonna shit talk them and kind of dive, you know, do a little bit of a deep dive on them, because I always find it interesting 
when you have these hoes you know promoting their realtor lifestyle but really you're not doing much they're just hot they're not no one's following them because they have some type of like a skill or algorithm or like hey guys this is how you really sell i think housing is one of those things where it's like you don't need much you know you don't need that much skill as a salesman as much as you need skill of like okay where to allocate this money right especially when we talk about like big commercial uh uh what you want to call it uh, estates um I remember speaking to this realtor for a couple hours because I always have questions, right? I'm always curious how real estate works from like the average Joe's perspective, right? Because you always hear the same typical advice, right? We'll get an FHA loan uh, and then, you know, get some expensive property, get some cash flow, which is easier said than done in some cases. Um, the reason I say it's easier said than done is sure, maybe there's a 300K property or I think, what was it? When I was making 60K, I qualified for 250 loan this is like a couple years ago at like 2.5 interest rate with chase which is pretty good right that, that interest rate's low but even with the fha loan you have to look at how much you're making monthly you have to look at your expenses and sure if, if there's cash flow if you can get some immediate cash flow that's great but again easier said than done i think if you have a lot of money to spend or you have a lot of money in your bank account sure that's a safe uh investment but for most people i don't think it's a safe investment i think nowadays it's like one of those times where it's like yeah the average person cannot afford a household right average income is what 34 to 37k uh that what is that after taxes i think it's like a thousand five hundred a month rent here where i live around is probably like a thousand of five thousand a thousand if you get a shitty place most places probably like two thousand dollars yeah chicago is expensive even the hood which is getting gentrified like O block will be gentrified in the next 10 years i not even 10 years i would say five years O block will no longer be, be a thing because uh you know university of chicago basically harvard 2.0 is right next to it so it's all that shit w why did i even talk about this shit where was i going why did i mention real estate see that's how like my mind is all over the place i'm thinking about real estate investments money college loans only fans trying to get that back real estate again my, my mind is like a fucking schizophrenic uh you know literally some people think i'm on cocaine half the time but no i'm just i'm just a fucking retard we'll just put it that way <laughs> autism uh, i did take a retard class in high school that was kind of fun uh that was an accident though i was not supposed to be in that retard class but they did put me in there so it's kind of weird seeing kids slobber and you know get congratulations for you know pronouncing the word like vocabulary and then here i am kind of looking at them like why is that guy have a waterfall coming out of his mouth uh and it's not actually water it's a fucking saliva bullshit but yep a little update uh again only fans videos will continue just gonna focus on getting that account back real estate stuff uh and just see where that uh goes and you know maybe that new series of videos maybe you guys will enjoy it maybe you guys are not i have to try different things i think i've been doing this for two or three years i have to innovate a little bit i've been trying up the vlogs right i don't know if people like it or not but i have to try new things uh and we'll just see what happens with the channel right again i'm never ever gonna delete the channel i'll never actually stop youtube if anything i'll just experiment with some things maybe i'll start getting like 0 100 or 200 views with those like new experimental videos i don't know but we're just gonna fucking try it but uh, yeah only fans ban me i probably won't talk about like fucking a bitch on top of an auction block to like a black woman or some shit but i uh, will tone that down a little bit so hopefully you guys enjoyed that video again small update hit that like button hit that subscribe button if you guys have any suggestions critiques negative feedback anything hit me with it i always like kind of hearing from the people's perspective because uh you know a king is nothing without his people right i'm not doing this to not have anyone right if i had zero subs after a fucking year i'd probably quit this shit but i'm you know i'm pretty grateful for having 16k subs because uh we're a little bit of an army like i said we're as strong as the taliban so if he wanted to cause another 9 11 let's just say it's within our power wink but uh yeah like always guys hit that sub button hopefully get 20 billion subs by this year and if not i will actually kill myself later